Welcome to this video that's going to teach you more about the innocent archetype. If you're the kind of person who's committed to your own personal growth and understand that the introspective work you do on yourself can lead to outer success in all areas of your life and business, then you're going to love this series about the 12 archetypes. Hi, my name's Abigail. I'm an over 40 content creator and consultant, and I help other midlife women align their online identity with their inherent personal identity. I do that through content creation consultation based on personality archetypes and follow through all the way to photo and video production. When you have a deeper understanding of yourself, you're able to more easily recognize patterns of behavior, thought, emotion, and beliefs that both hinder and help your personal and professional journey. With this insight, you're able to course correct and realign the traits and characteristics that are authentically part of your inherent makeup. If you've ever felt like a square peg being jammed into a round hole and just not finding the fit, it's likely you're forcing yourself into someone else's idea of a desirable reality. In truth, we all have unique drivers and motivations that we're born with and all too often, due to a lack of awareness and understanding, we find ourselves pursuing an outcome we don't even want, simply because that outcome was presented to us as the only option. When you realize who you really are, it's easier to define what you really want and start taking steps towards a reality that aligns with your true nature. If you don't yet know your dominant archetype, be sure to pause this video and take my free archetype quiz. It'll take you about 10 minutes to complete and then you can hop back on here to finish this video with more clarity. If you've already taken the quiz and you know your archetype, but this isn't the one, head to my channel, check out the playlist on the 12 archetypes and find the video relating to your dominant archetype. So without further ado, let's dig into understanding more about the innocent archetype. The innocent, idealist, optimist, dreamer. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. John Lennon. The innocent archetype highlights the bright side of life and embodies a fundamental truth in life. You're the optimistic positive one when faced with daunting situations. You're guided by your beliefs and values and aren't easily swayed. You inherently trust people and will ask for help if you need it. The part of you that's an innocent has an unwavering glass half full approach to life. They strive to live by their principles and their idea of a perfect life. Like an innocent child who feels nurtured and secure, the innocent is spontaneous, trusting of others, and believes in a world where everything works out well. A prime example of an innocent is one who demonstrates a life based on faith and values, remaining aligned to their ideals and keeping the peace by following the rules. The innocent tends to notice the goodness in the world, others, and themselves. Even when things are not ideal, the innocent will seek out and highlight the silver lining. Sometimes this bias towards the positive can blind the innocent to the negatives that exist in the world and other people, causing them to be manipulated or disappointed when the harsh realities eventually come their way. The underlying storyline of the innocent is based on a central belief that everything will be fine, even when problems arise. They believe that perhaps things aren't as bad as they seem or that someone will sort it out. So the storyline requires that the innocent behaves well and continues to trust in the good outcome. Innocents may face being hurt or disappointed by others or life itself, and this will lead to despair if their hope and faith is not restored. Their ability to stay true to their morals and ideals regardless of external circumstances is what makes a mature innocent an inspiration for others. Activities and tasks fulfilling to an innocent involve being the person who remains positive and cheers others on. Innocents appreciate clear rules and expectations. They shine inwardly and outwardly when a process, organization, or another person needs help with a new dream or vision of their own. The innocent in you finds happiness when, especially during challenging times, she can still live in the moment, practice gratitude, and envision positive outcomes. When an innocent is feeling low, they'll proactively move their attention to something positive, either in their imagination or within the current situation. My hope is that after watching this video, you've got more clarity about the innocent archetype. Remember, if you don't yet know your archetype, please be sure to go and do my free quiz over at abigailk.com forward slash quiz. This video will resonate a lot more when you know which archetype is your most dominant. If you'd like to learn how you can use personality archetypes to express your personal brand with more clarity and confidence, check out my class on Skillshare. And now over to you. Let me know in the comments three ways in which you're gonna start intentionally expressing your dominant archetype. That could mean changing the way you dress or the jewelry you wear. Or perhaps you're gonna take up a new hobby that you've always wanted to do, but you felt others wouldn't approve. If it aligns with your archetype, start that hobby. Or perhaps you're ready to make the commitment or to change your lifestyle 
to bring it more into alignment with who you inherently are. I'm excited to see how this awareness transforms your life.